Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Chris Yee. Welcome to Catchapalooza, where one or more of us has played a game already, and one or more of us hasn't, being taught by the other um, <laughs> how to play it. Good Today catch. we're taking a look at the Shipwreck Arcana, which is such a forgettable name. I When Z mentioned that, I'd be like, that game you said. Yeah. <laughs> and I th Shipwreck's actually not that common, but Arcana is, unfortunately. That's in a decent amount of game names. Sure. And it it's not doesn't. its not something you can latch on to, right? Yeah, Shipwreck Arcana is not something that... Well, I will say, though, after playing this game, whoo, does that theme come across? It shines through, like a yeah. beacon. That's a sarcasm. Like a diamond. <laughs> it's a shipwreck. Um, uh, yeah, so this is a logic game. In the uh, description of the video, we'll put a link to the review of the game and to our playthrough that we did last mm. week of it. For those of us who are learning it for the first time. So Z, this is a game that you like a lot, right? I do, I do. It's a, it's a game that does something different from other co-op games. I'm a big co-op fan. Not a lot of them are this small, for one thing, and a deduction game. And I find that interesting and appealing and different. You know, there's a lot of cooperative games that have the obvious things. There's even some push-your-luck ones. But deduction, as a cooperative exercise... I find interesting. You could play one on one, I mean, or, or two players, and then you're doing it on your own, but I enjoy the discussion moments that happen when you're playing with at least three. One person's out of that discussion, they're the ones whose puzzle we're trying to figure out, right? And then the other people can suss out what they might have kept hidden in their hand. I, I, I like that feeling. This is a weird game. Even as you were teaching it, I wasn't really sure what the flow of it was going to be. Do you have mm -hmm. an elevator pitch for the... Do you have, like, a 20-second, like, this is what this game is just kind of description? Because it's hard to oh, summarize. Wow. And go! You did not resume me homework today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know if I have an elevator pitch. It is a weird game for sure. I wouldn't just... Again, You wouldn't deduction. play this with anybody, right? I wouldn't. No, uh, if they do not like no. mathy puzzles, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm going to go above that. Because if I'm just going like to come games, right out this right? and say I don't like this game. Uh -huh. uh, I've only you played, played it before. once. You taught me right. at, the, at the retreat. Um, and that's why I don't like No, I'm just kidding. That's not why I don't like it. You taught it very well. Um, I have very specific reasons why I didn't like this game, and I suspect I'm not the only person that would feel this way. This game very much has a... Um, only person. Well, maybe, maybe so. Uh, but if so, I'll, I'll wear that mantle proudly. It can make you feel stupid. And it can make you feel stupid in in multiple ways, right? Okay. So first of all, mathematically, this is not how my mind works. I'm sure. not, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'll put it right out there. I, I'm not a mathematical thinker generally, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that it, it puts you in this position where after you've played a tile, everyone else at the table can be like, well, they're clearly, this is the card it should have gone on, and now you feel even stupider, right? Mm -hmm. And so maybe it was because I was playing, I was the only new player with a pretty experienced group. Like, we were playing, and everyone had played it not only once or twice, they played it a bunch. Sure. And I felt at a very distinct disadvantage, which is fine if I'm losing, but I'm making everybody lose. Right. And so that's, that's why I bounced off it pretty hard. Now... I watched your playthrough, and I felt like when I was watching, I'm like, well, like you that, guys are just as dumb as me. No, no, it was exactly the opposite. I'm like, well, man, they had obvious choices. I was, I felt like I was never in a position where it's like, right. Uh, and yeah, so I do think a there's a lot draws. of variability in what cards are out there, what you draw. Let me ask but, you two questions in yeah. regard to what you just said. First of all, do you like code names? I like code names, okay. Because code names has that same thing where you pick a, right. a clue and then people go, "Why didn't you say this?" Maybe it's because I feel very comfortable with language and I feel less comfortable with math. Okay, and then the other question is, have you ever played Code Seven Seven Seven? I don't know that I have, but I've I played like either. Sudoku. I mean, I, I'm, I'm fine with Sudoku puzzles and things like well, that. Well, yeah, that's actually another good. Kind of, this is a very Sudoku thing. If it can't be this, it can't be this. It must be therefore this. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. part of it is, and yeah. you mentioned this in the playthrough. It's not always as much what card you play it on, but what that's where I was getting tripped up because mm -hmm. I was focusing on what's the best card to give them the most information. What I was not doing, what was making my brain explode, 
was the the negative information. Right. The, he's not telling us this. Well, no, no, I wasn't even considering what I'm not telling you. I I'm considering love what negative I'm information. You. I wish more right. games did that. I'm just not. Yeah. My brain doesn't work that way. And so I, that's why I'm glad you brought up that it's not for everyone. It's not a fault of the game. I think the design. I mean. The design is math. Yeah, you can't really fault that, right? It works right. or it doesn't. It doesn't work for my brain. And I think there are other people out there who will feel the same. Well, I also sure. would not say it's for everybody. I, it's just no, you did say that. That's the yeah. whole point. But this actually gives me very strong vibes. I know you've played Code 777. Sure. It's been a while. But has, Code 77 is a very similar thing where you have three numbers in front of you and there's another one. There's a couple other d deduction games that are similar. Mm -hmm. And you say... How many of these are out there? And it gives you mathematical answers sometimes, and then you deduce what's in front of you. Because you can see your own, right? And I like that concept a lot. I've always enjoyed. Mm -hmm. I like. I just like crossing things out. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah. I like being able to go, and that eliminates that. Therefore, leaving that. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid and I would play Clue. Right, a, mm -hmm. a very famous deduction game. You sit there and say, uh, you know, Mrs. Pepper and the salt shaker in the kitchen or whatever. <laughs> no, that's I, the wrong answer. Mouse, okay. okay. Parsley, sage, that's, rosemary, and thyme. Mm -hmm. I think that's Blue's Clues. So you would say salt whatever, pepper. right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, someone shows a card, right? And you, you're sitting there saying, okay, I have a piece of information. And, and as you get better at deduction games, you start realizing it's the... Well, they didn't have any of those three things, and so it, the negative information is just as valuable. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot in this game, and I think that it, it your brain has to work that way. Because right. I like what you're saying in Clue, and I like it in code names. Like, I can do the negative information thing, just not in this game, because it's mathematical and my head just goes... Maybe that's it, right? You, know? you, have, to, you yeah. have to have an interest in that kind of sudoku -y type yeah. thing. But I found it really rewarding, because... There's only four active cards at a time that you could give clues off of. And so I, I liked that because mm -hmm. the it wasn't like there were a hundred different points of negative information to, to take into account as you're giving one piece of clue. And so I, it, it's limited to those four things out there. And they change, and so maybe that's what, you know, that could be a point of trip up too is, oh no, this card's not out there anymore. I was hoping to be able to use that or to not use that in combination with using this. Right. Yeah, it's a it is a small game. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how many times you'd play it in a row. It feels like a twice, and then you move on to something else. Well, it's more than basically all games. I don't sure. really play well, any no, games. Well, no, no, no. Like some, oh, let's some say it's a role, like literally, like mm -hmm. set up and play again. Well, let's say I'm playing No Thanks. I could see that kind of game for a card game. Just going around a table all night. You just keep playing it. You're talking, having a good time. People do that this, with code names. Uh, I will excuse myself from your game. <laughs> well, not. I'm talking. To, yeah. I'm. I've seen that happen at conventions. People are going to play the same little card game because it has that little uh, Pringles chip to it. Like, ah, yeah. one more, one more chip. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't think this has that. No, no, it does not have that. I agree. And this almost. We often throw around the word filler. Yeah. As in, this is a small game. This is a short game. It says 20 minutes in a box. I feel like that might be the tiniest bit like short. 30 maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like a filler. No, because this your feels brain like a main engaged. game. Your brain yeah. is engaged. But it's so just much. a shorter one. Yeah. What sure. do you guys feel like, uh, and this is not specific to this game necessarily, What do you? how do you feel like the limited communication works in this one? Uh, do you think people will try to meta it? Do you think people are going to would try to, to play around with it? It's the that? same way as in code names and these other games. It just requires just one person to be Shut up while quiet. we talk about you. Right, right. And there's some people who can't do that. You we can't played do that, it. that So Clover game. Yeah. You know, you're sitting there, you're not supposed to say anything while people are manipulating cards, and you'd be like, ah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's right. cheating. Right. Can't yeah. do that here either. Yeah. 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 yeah Limited communication, I actually am less forgiving of than no communication from a certain player. Right. It's that whole. My card is higher yeah. than a <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, right. If you say something and you manipulate the way in which you say it, right. I have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. If you just need to be quiet and sit there and not, we won't look at you, you don't make faces, I don't have a problem with that. My only concern with this one is that that could happen inadvertently where someone's sitting there and they're kind of debating on two cards. And then they put it out and then I could say, or... I may, I might not say it, but I might think, well, it took them a while to decide between those two cards, yeah, therefore it two. might be this yeah. number. Yeah. That could happen. But. I suppose. I suppose. But I also think that as long as they're not wavering between the two, <laughs> that's <laughs> obvious cheating, right? Well, that's, that's different. Cheating. But if someone's sitting there. I could put it here, 
I could put it here. Right. Not here because it's a six. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it there. Yeah, but yeah. but if if someone is taking a little while in their turns, that's, that's information. You can't stop that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that's fine. I think that's built into the design. Yeah, I don't think okay. that's yeah, yeah. that's okay. Sometimes you have an obvious move. These are exactly four away, so I'll play the three out here. Right. What's four away from three? It's a seven. Can only be a seven, right? Sure. Yeah. There's nothing the other way. So yeah, other times you do have to really sit there and 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 cogitate for a bit to take one of your words. Yeah, because you invented it. You I know. did. It's my word. Yeah, but call Webster. <laughs> <laughs> I would never do that. All right, let's start with you, Mike. What's the things again? So you bury it at the bottom of a pile or mm -hmm. outpack, I suppose, sure. for you. And not really interested in play. Mm -hmm. Don't even bother giving the other two options. Bring it. <laughs> yeah. If someone brings it. If someone brings it and they want to play it, you'll play it. Mm -hmm. Maybe even, you know, a little more excited than that. And then buy it as something you would recommend people pick up. Or maybe you would even be interested in having it in your own collection. Sure. Well, I, I think I've already kind of mentioned that. You want to bury it. I'm burying it. What? Just because it's not. But, but it's because... This is a me problem, I think. I don't think that there's any problem with the... No, I'm saying I don't think there's out. any problem with the design of the game. It is not how my mind works, and I think it's important that people realize that there, you know, are going to be people that bounce off of this because it makes them feel stressed. It's not how their brain works. I'm glad you brought up the code names thing because, again, I think it's a difference between language and numbers, and I feel much more comfortable in the language realm than I do in the numbers realm. There's yeah. more creativity yeah. in code yeah. names. Yeah. You're, you're that, having that fun too. with it. Yeah. That too. All right, Chris? Uh, this is a buy. I really like this a lot. And, uh, and Accountant! <coughs> Accountant! Oh, 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 we're going to go But no, I, seriously, does that, does that kind of like, do you feel like this hits you in your sweet spot as far as like, is this how your brain works? Maybe, right? Like there's, yeah. I don't know. I think what it does is it, it's unique. Mm. And there's not a lot of games out there where I feel That's like true. there's this... Fun mathiness to mm. it. There's a lot of mathy games out there, but this one is actually fun, mm. uh, and and also there's good decisions of of okay, we've narrowed down to a few possibilities. Do we guess now or do we hold off? It, what's the better time? Oh, we didn't even talk about the card powers, right? When yeah. you when when a card is used enough times, it flips over. That's a resource to manage, right? Mm -hmm. When do we spend this right away in our play? Oh, we could have you know we could have used one that would have saved yeah. our skin a little bit here and there. That's all unique, and so yeah, it's it's something it that feels boiled down to absolutely what needs to be there and nothing else, almost. Yeah, I like that, and yeah. it's a very like you said, it's a different game. It's just a, as a co-op deduction, tiny filler esque thing. That's that's a weird space to to you Small know box, to live in. Relatively so. yeah, inexpensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it? Does it? tickle my fancy maybe right and maybe i don't know that it does or doesn't because yeah. it doesn't it, yeah, yeah. if if it didn't i would know right 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 but i guess it's a fun spot right. got it i'm also i buy it um in fact i will mm. get a copy of this for the dice tower library because mm -hmm. this would i think this will fit in those one of those little photo boxes mm -hmm. i have I, I can't see that it wouldn't and it's the kind of game that i would pull off the shelf and feels different than other things um, I am getting a little weary of cooperative games these days, mm -hmm. just because I feel like there's a ton of them. But this one was fine. This, this, it's short. It doesn't hurt. But I like numbers. I don't care. You yeah. can call me an accountant. I'm not. My math teacher. And that's right. We got a math teacher and an accountant that's at the debatable. table. So oh, there we go. Oh boy. That is debatable. But I, I, as a side thing, like <laughs> like Green. doing math puzzles. Yeah. Whether it's Sudoku or other kind of math, I get a kick out of that. Yeah. So this is that same exact thing, right. except now, like Z said, we get to talk about it. So Yeah, yeah, yeah me I'm too. Not, I like math. Right there. I like mm -hmm. the mathy puzzle. I like the logic of math, so I get it. Yeah. So this if is you're still a holding, mathy person. It's still holding true for you then? Yeah. Would yeah, you yeah. buy it again if I you would lost buy it. it? This is a buy it. Mm -hmm. You maybe with the caveat that Mike is pointing out. Are you a mathy person? Do you like Puzzles. Well, not heavy math either, I don't no, think. No, no. Like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's if you're a kindergartner, a bu <laughs> it's, it's, it's. You have to enjoy, math though, logic. toying with that's numbers. What that's what it is. is. That's yes. what it is. You I like mean, toying with numbers and you like co ops. I think you're likely to like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a buy it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to have it. All righty, yeah. let's shipwreck Arcana. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Mike Delicio. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Chris Yee. Catching up.
You already own this. Is it in the library? They yeah. gave it to us at the retreat. They brought.